Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hidden Dragon Pride brings to you Final Countdown Deck Out Profile. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons down below. Leave me a comment what you think of this deck. This is not meant for competitive play, although you can take it. It is very annoying, but the only thing about this deck is that it really doesn't take any skill to play. It doesn't. It's one of these decks where can I end you in once Final Countdown resolves, or can I deck you out first? You know, like I said, it's more of a locals just to be annoying type of deck to play with my friends. But one of my friends took the a similar build like this to last regionals and went six and two with it. So it's pretty. It can be competitive. It's mostly annoying. So here we go. Uh, the lone morphing jar. You know, set it, re flip it. Discard, draw five new cards. Uh, three needle worms, set it. It flips. They send the top five of their deck to the graveyard. Uh, three morphing jar number twos, flip it. Return all monsters on the field back to the deck. Shuffle. Reveal cards till you uh, each reveal the number of monsters you currently had on the field. Set all those on face down on the field. Send any non monster cards to the graveyard. Uh, three's Destiny Hero Defenders, big defense. When it's at while it's in face up defense position, your opponent draws one extra card for each one on the field. So if you have all three face up, they draw four cards a turn. It runs through their deck a whole lot faster. Uh, to help with the stalling, three Swift Scarecrows and three Battle Faders. That's it. That's the deck. Like I said, it's basically meant for fun, try to deck someone out, or let Final Countdown resolve. Uh, three copies of Gravekeeper Servant. While this is face up on the field, they have to send the top card from their deck to the grave for every one of these face up on the field. So in order to attack, if all three are up, that's three cards per attack. It really makes it a lot harder for them to attack. Uh, two Vengeful Bog Spirits. Monsters can't attack to turn their summon. Uh, three Messengers of Peace. It's worth 100 life points per turn to keep monsters with 1,500 or more attack from attacking. Uh, three Upstarts to help get to some of the cards you need. Uh, one Day of Peace as well. Draw and take no battle damage. Uh, Dark Door. Only one monster can attack per turn. Three Pot of Duality. Again, to help with the speed and consistency so you can get to the right cards you need at the right time. Uh, Book of Eclipse. The reason I like this over Book of Moon or Book of Tile is that it flips all of them on the field face down and at the end phase they all flip face back up so all their flip effects activate and then your opponent uh, ends up drawing a card for every one that's flipped. So it, like I said, that runs through the deck so fast. Uh, and of course the one final countdown, that's all you're allowed to play. It's 20 turns, game's over. Uh, traps, three Wabaku, three Threatening Roar. Pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, this really takes no skill to play. It's more of a, it's a stally, let's see if I control you type of deck. And it's like I said, it's just for fun. Although you can, like I said, a friend of mine took a similar build like this to regionals, went six and two with it. So it can be competitive, especially when no one's expecting it. So yeah, don't forget, like and subscribe buttons down below. Let me know what you think of the uh, Final Countdown deck, out, uh, deck I built. And this is Hidden Dragon, signing out.